welcome back. Well, today I'm going to cut right to the chase and turn your healthy eating, dieting world upside down. So what amazing secret do I have in store for you today? Drum rolls, please. Well, look, I know I don't do a lot of investigative journalism on foodie, but for today's show, I did find five foods that you think are healthy for you, but are actually not. Now, I learned this the hard way, so kids watching at home, make sure you don't make the same mistakes I did. Number one, diet soda. Now, I used to drink diet soda like it's water. But guess what? Diet drinks compensate for being zero in calories by being loaded with caffeine, artificial sweeteners, artificial colors, artificial flavors, all of which only increase your cravings and lead to high blood pressure and hyperactivity. So yeah, you're saving some calories, but the expense of a whole lot of junk. Next, energy bars. Now, I used to think I look really trendy and cute with an energy bar in my hand when heading to the gym. Makes sense, right? You want a quick and easy way to add fuel right before a workout. But guess what? Have you ever looked at the ingredients in an energy bar? It's loaded with sugars, fructose corn syrup, and saturated fat. And the meal replacement kind of variety has up to 350 calories. Honestly, for that many calories, you're actually better off just having a low carb actual meal. Next, fruit yogurt. Now this sounds a little counterintuitive, right? You're thinking fruit is great, yogurt is great, put them together, the combination should be great as well, right? Wrong. Well, especially if you get fruit yogurt from store, it has a lot of added sugar, which actually kills the good bacteria in the yogurt. And that's one of the main reasons why you want to eat yogurt in the first place. All right, when I realized this, I was crushed. You see, I'm a huge peanut butter fan. It tastes yummy and has such a good dose of hard, healthy fats. Well, it turns out low fat peanut butter is still high in sugar. So honestly, if you want all the goodness of peanut butter, you're better off making it at home, which I'll show you right here. It's diabetic friendly, it's all natural, and you won't have all the added oils and sugars. Finally, baked chips. Now congrats on realizing that anything baked is better than fried. But honestly, when it comes to chips, it really doesn't make much of a difference at all. Well, first off, if you're on a diet, you really shouldn't be eating chips anyway. And even if you are, you will actually only save 20 calories per serving. So you see, if it's that bikini body you're after, fake chips is not the way to go. So if you have any of that crap in your fridge or your kitchen, get rid of it immediately. Or for one last hurrah, eat it all. And then come back and subscribe to our channel right here, where we give you lots of great tips on healthy eating and good living. I'll see you next time.